Hey y'all, happy Friday. Okay, so we're digging in again. Gonna round out this week. Oh, such, such good word. I want to read um, a couple of more verses uh, talking about the um, infiniteness of God's word and it's unchanging. Um, one, this is one I'm sure you are all familiar with from Malachi 3, verse 6. It says, For I am Jehovah, I do not change. I do not change. Um, Psalm 89, 33. Sorry, my chair's kind of squeaky. <laughs> Psalm 89, 33. It says, My loving kindness, which, again, if you've studied with me for any length of time, what is loving kindness, tender mercy? Hesed. My Hesed. Um, my loving kindness will I not break off from him, nor allow my faithfulness to fail, to lie and be false to him. That is powerful. And if you are in the middle of stuff and you need one to just hang your hat on, and to, it's, and it's pretty easy to remember. Again, Psalm 89, I was almost there, 33. My loving kindness will I not break off from him, nor allow my faithfulness to fail. I will not allow my faithfulness to lie and be false to him. And that, that to me is beautiful. Regardless of me, because of Jesus, um, regardless of what I've done, regardless of where I've been, God will not allow his faithfulness to lie to me or to be false to me. And so in the Hebrew here, this faithfulness is firmness, fidelity, steadfastness, steadiness. That should all, those things should just trigger truth, 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 every time that you hear them. That his firmness, his unchangingness, <laughs> will not fail. His fidelity, his um, commitment to keeping his promise, to being faithful to you, his fidelity, he will not allow to lie. His steadfastness and steadiness. And also, uh, this was also in the, the lexicon, his faithfulness also in fulfilling promises, which makes sense because his promise is his word. And the Bible tells us, and I'll get this reference for you, that he honors his word even above his name. So you think about the honor given to his name, but he honors his word above his name. That his promise, he will see to it. And you, it's his faithfulness towards you will not lie, will not break off, will not be fall. He will show you faithfulness firmness, fidelity, steadfastness, and steadiness in fulfilling his word of promise to you. Um, I've, you know, I've heard ministers say, well, you don't, you know, God may not answer you the way you want him to answer you. Truthfully, God will keep his word. He will keep his promise. Am I standing on his promise? Am I in truth believing the truth of the word? Am I, am I allowing outside influences and outside voices to taint the truth that, like we talked about yesterday, it be almost truth? But the Lord will be faithful to his promise because it is his word. Um, and the very next verse, so Psalm eighty nine thirty four, it says, My covenant will I not break or profane, nor alter the thing that has gone out of my lips. His words, his promises to us. And I want to close this week. This is, I say, a little bit out of my comfort zone, and it shouldn't be. But in and studying all of this and things that I've had going on personally that I've had to deal with, again, having the belt of truth and being in study on that has been so timely for me. But in, in my worship time, a song came on, and it's one that you all know, and it is 
Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him o'er and o'er, Jesus, Jesus. Precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. And those words, <laughs> if you can't do anything else, you start singing that. <laughs> if you can't remember a scripture, you start singing that. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. And that truth makes all the difference. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning for our lives somewhere around nine o'clock. Bye.